Okay, during a basketball game, there were 300 tickets sold, and they made 1,200 bucks. Student tickets are two bucks, adult tickets are five bucks. How many adult tickets were sold is the question. I'm gonna let A equal adult tickets, or the number of adult tickets. And I'm gonna let S equal the number of student tickets. Now, what we got to realize is we can make an equation for this. Do you understand that A plus S equals what? Aren't there adult plus student tickets? Shouldn't they add up to 300? That's my first equation. We can make a second equation. My second equation, well, how much is it per adult ticket? Isn't it $5 per adult ticket plus how much per child or student? $2 per student ticket. If it's $5 per adult ticket plus $2 per student ticket, what should this add up to? How much money altogether? Want to add up to 1200 this is your second equation. Now, to solve this, I want to find A, correct? Yeah. Could I do combinations or elimination and cancel my S's and find A? Because yeah. that's what we're looking for. We're looking for A, adult tickets sold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first equation, and what could I probably multiply that by so it cancels with the negative, cancels with the 2? I'm going to multiply it by negative 2. It's not a power, but I'm going to multiply this by negative 2. So I'm going to multiply everything here by negative 2. So I get negative 2a minus 2s equals what, my, negative 600. So that is now, that is the first equation multiplied by negative 2. Now if I add straight down, what's 5a minus 2a? That is three A's. Don't these cancel? And doesn't this 1,200 minus 600 give you another 600? So how do you find A? Well, could I divide by three now? And A equals 200. Did I just answer my question? Yeah, there are 200 adult tickets sold. That's what they're looking for. Now, even though they're not asking for student tickets, how many student tickets would that be? That would have to be if there's 300 altogether, 100. wouldn't there be 100 student tickets? Because together they're 100? That is using combinations to solve a problem. Now, if this is a multiple choice test, it's actually easier because there's, you can kind of manipulate them, and we'll show you that some other day. For number two, different idea. This one, we are using um, elimination combinations. This is a whole different problem. Josh has, has $20 and is saving $5 a day. Here's how we're going to write. This is Josh. We're going to write his equation as y equals, he has 20, plus how much a day? five dollars per day. That's Josh. Then we have next person Sal. Sal has how much? He has 160 but he's spending. One saving, one spending. Spending would be minusing how much a day? Two dollars a day. He must be buying some sort of candy or something or soda every day. So, Josh has 20, but he's making money. He basically gets some chores around the house or something. I don't know. And this guy has a certain amount of money, but he's spending it every day buying like a soda, a candy or something. So, I want to find out when do they have the same amount of money. So, I want to know when these two are equal. I want to know when they're equal. Well, to know when they're equal, could I simply take this and stick it right there for Y? 
Since y equals this, can I take it right there? I make an equation 160 minus 2x equals 20 plus 5x. And can I solve that? Yeah. Because when I want to know when they're the same, I basically want to put this in here and solve when they are the equally to, to each other. So to solve this, um, I'm going to minus the 5x over first. That's gone. Looks like a negative 7x there equals 20. And oh, don't forget the 160 still there. And then um, i got to get the x by itself, so I'm going to minus 160 over. So negative 7x, and this looks like negative 140. And to get rid of the negative 7, you divide by negative 7. And it looks like x equals 20. So what does that mean? Well, x represents days. So does that mean after 20 days, they'll have the same amount of money? After 20 days, they will have the same amount of money.